Ryan are known now for having one of the top course launches out there. Uh, top real estate sales course right. of all time. So I'm, I'm curious, specifics, we, we heard a little bit from Ryan on that, but your perspective on some of the specific things you did that made that launch so successful. Yeah. Number one is having a good product, right? The, the launch really, the launch really amplifies the product, but if you don't have a good product to begin with, you're going to fail after a few days because what happened with us when we launched, people actually liked it and started posting about it and saying, wow, I have this great thing. And then more people came into our funnel as a result. So it all starts with having the good product. Now, once you have the good product, it's knowing your audience. That's number two. It's knowing what the audience that you've built or your prospective audience actually wants from you, right? There's a few different ways to look at that because they don't really want education. What they want is the results that the education will bring them. So in all of your marketing and all of your sort of messaging before your launch, it's all about what you and what your product can do for them. Own your, own your product. Own your message. Then after that, uh, there's sort of two buckets that I look at it in. There's email campaign and there's social campaign. So for us, Ryan had a large broker list to begin with because of the business he's been in for the past 10 years. He's been collecting real estate agents and real estate broker email addresses since he began in this business. So we use that on the email side as the initial seed yeah. to send out a series of emails announcing the course. Initially it was a tease, something's coming. Then it was my course is coming. And then that was probably like 90 days before. Yeah. Over the 90 days from initial announcement to the actual launch, we kept providing value. So we gave homework assignments every yeah. month leading up to it, where it's like assignment number one is post your biggest success story in sales. And they had to post it to the Facebook page that we created. So we started building a little bit of a community where people started yeah. talking about the course. Uh, and then I think assignment number two was submit your best marketing video because video sells real estate. Uh, and then assignment number three was a little bit more personal where we talked about what motivates you in sales, right? Leading up to the big day of the launch, which is uh, talking about how you're going to benefit from this, right? right? What motivates you? Why do you want to succeed? And then all of a sudden you can relate that message of why I want to succeed to the value that the course is going to provide when we launch. So that's, that's the email side. On the social side, you talk about paid social and organic social. Ryan has 1.3 million Instagram followers, um, several hundred thousand on LinkedIn, several hundred thousand on Facebook, about 500,000 vlog subscribers on YouTube. So we were able to leverage all of those platforms and do a bunch of announcements, just like this is coming. We shot some YouTube pre-roll and post-roll, uh, the end credits that come after the YouTube video to announce the course. Uh, and all of those directed people to the landing course landing page and then they signed up for the emails and then they got into the email drip campaign in the 90 days leading up to the actual launch. So if you don't have a big following and you're looking to launch a course, start planning a year to six months in advance and start positioning yourself as the expert in your field. And how do you do that? You hang out where other people in your field hang out on social. Find the LinkedIn groups and find the Facebook groups and start sharing your expertise. In a lot of these professional groups, there are people asking questions and looking for advice from their fellow professionals. You as the expert, or as the person who wants to position himself or herself as the expert, because you're about to launch a course, yeah. should be the one answering all those questions and sharing your expertise. All of our email campaigns and all of our social campaigns led to a landing page. Yeah. A single page where you could sign up for more information. So we put you into sort of an active list of people who are actively raised their hand and said, hey, I'm interested in the course. So we knew like those were very warm, if not hot leads. All the campaigns led there, you put in your email address and you could find out more information. Yeah. So we actually slowly built the landing page with more information as we went, where yeah. initially it was just a teaser, there's a course coming. Yeah. And then maybe a month later, we added more information about what the course is. And then probably the week before, we put a big teaser video, a trailer, almost like yeah. a cinematic movie trailer, yeah. up there on the landing page to really build hype the week before. And then once the course launched, that URL, rightinstagram.com slash course, changed over to the sales page. So people already okay. knew where the URL was. We completely got rid of the landing page. It's in the same place that people have already, already have on their autocomplete yeah. and already have in their emails. Mm -hmm. But no one needs to know. It just looks like it's the Ryan Serian brand. Oh, she won't tell them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>